Sub ID, and welcome back to Gin Cal with us. I'm Katie. I'm Brittany. And Sabrina's not here today because she's busy planning her wedding, which will be coming up in August. So today we're going to be making spring rolls, and Brittany will tell you what ingredients we're going to need to make these. All right, so we're making the spring rolls today with brown pork. Um, we're going to be rolling two different sizes. Uh, so these are just a spring roll pastry that you will get in any grocery store, and they are in the uh, freezer. So they come frozen, so you're going to need um, a little bit of time to defrost them. We're using a uh, glass for miscellany noodles. We're seasoning with a little bit of soy sauce, sugar, salt, pepper, and oyster sauce. Um, we're going to be putting carrots and taro in our spring rolls today, a little bit of onion, garlic, and then of course you need some eggs to bind it all together. Uh, before you start, don't forget you're going to need lots of oil because these are deep fried. is soak your uh, glass noodles. And then by the time you're done everything else, they'll be soft enough to add into the rest of the mixture. A lot of people actually replace um, their meat in their spring rolls for this because it's got um, like a meaty texture to it. oyster sauce and you're going to be doing one tablespoon for every pound of meat or vegetable that you have. So we're using ground pork, five pounds, so we're going to be using five tablespoons of this. Next we're going to add the same amount um, of soy sauce, so five tablespoons. of sugar for every pound that you have, so that's five teaspoons for us.
the reason that we're adding them last is because we don't want to mix them too much because they can release um, the moisture in the water out of themselves and then it would make your meat mixture wet which will make your sprinkles burn and break. You don't want to be too rough because they rip really easily. Okay guys, so we're all ready to roll. Uh, you're going to want to beat uh, or mix one egg just for binding purposes. You can even do bigger ones on this, but these two we find are pretty good for snacks and finger food at parties. Hey guys, so we finished rolling our first uh, couple batches. We've heated our oil on the stove. Um, if you have a deep fryer, you can also use a deep fryer. It's a lot easier and safer. Um, we don't, so this is the way we're gonna do it. your spring rolls are all finished and they're ready to serve. You can't eat them with your favorite dipping sauce. Ours is a sweet Thai chili sauce. We hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more Laos recipes. Until next time, bye!